come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. It's a podcast that's loved by movie lovers everywhere. Far and wide. Far and wide, yeah. That's and you true. can help us On out. heaven with, and in earth. It's right. And, or yeah. maybe in hell. We don't know. If you're there, Let hey, us all know. you gotta do, yeah, <laughs> write in. Um, From hell. <laughs> yeah, we could send right Igor down hell. to like... Yeah. Do a mail grab? Well, yeah. He makes runs there frequently. Yeah, there's yeah. that screaming pit in Russia that yeah. you can like hear down at the core yeah. of the earth. Yeah. You just throw him down that. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. <laughs> of course it's in Russia. Yeah. Yeah. There was like some cave or something they think was actually because it smelled yeah, could, like sulfur. And you, and you could, could hear, hear moaning. Yep. Yeah. 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 It was like in Russia. It was like a big hole in the ground yeah. that they said yeah. went to the core of the earth. Look it up, guys. Mm-hmm. 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 Very well, no, there's certain Don't say we never talked you anything. Yeah. <laughs> there was like a whole thing. It was like called like the gates of hell or something. Yeah. A whole. Yeah. Okay. Maybe this is worth looking into. Interesting. Yeah. This is why you come to the Saturday Night Show, because you're going to learn strange and unusual facts. That's the Mm -hmm. stuff we like. Um, But, you know, we would really appreciate if you'd go over to wherever you found us and hit that like or subscribe button, uh, because you can recruit more uh, followers uh, that will lead you to... Right. Can you kind of not make a song like a call? (laughs) 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 This movie really got to him, Holly. We really got... We can be a good cult. This is... I mean, we just lean into it. Uh, you know the, what? It's okay. This is why I'm here. Okay. I'm going to stop this from happening. Gonna He's going to deprogram us. Yeah. Right. We're fine. Right? Yep. And we're going to get saved by the Austrian muscle bound. Okay. Anyway, these who's, are the. Who's we? Uh, Who are the, the we that are right, fine? The internet radio superstars. Sean. Michaela. Holly. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by. Holly. What time did you take us back to? A time um, of paranoia. A time of yeah, a time of strangeness. A ta- we a, called a it Y two K. A time of unrest, uncertainty. Yes. Um, we ventured back uh, with one of my favorite holiday movies. <laughs> um, we ventured back to nineteen ninety nine with End of Days. Of course. Obviously. And I guess uh, before we get into the significance of nineteen ninety nine, we're going to take you back uh, to <laughs> yeah. that moment. Yeah, uh, that that's moment. right. 19, the forgotten. nineteen ninety nine in this is the Alu card of yeah, <laughs> yeah of it really is this movie. So Not Prince's nineteen ninety nine, which I no. remember playing right. like all the time mm-hmm. on New Year's Eve. No, this is a time that you were either really drunk or possibly like on Xanax and panicking, just depending on who you were, or if you were me, you were and how you grew up. If you were me, you were, what, 13, listening to the Baxter Boys, and mm-hmm. yeah. couldn't do anything. But then they had yep. this yeah. thing called yeah. Y2K, and it <laughs> freaked you out. That's right. They are like, the world was going to end the world's on gonna end. December 31st. Because all the computers are going to shut down, Colin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. they're dumb. They don't know what's going oh, on. They don't know dates. That, right? You remember Y2K? Oh, my God. I remember, right? yeah. Well, we do, but, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> you kiddos that were born after that. They're like, mm-hmm. what the hell are you talking about? But, yeah, yeah, all the computers. programs, all the computer programs were in 1999. So you got to assume that, right, they, they knew that was a problem and they fixed it, right, that the clock wasn't going to roll over or something. Mm-hmm. It wasn't programmed to reach to the year 2000. Right. And so well, they, now so we're they, not going to have that problem in the year 3000, right? Colin, we're that's, not going to be here. That's in the future them's problem. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, like, what not is a problem time? for us to worry about. I'm not too concerned about that. Okay. No. Uh, anyway, this movie was directed by Peter Hyams, who we would know from. We would know from um, such freak show, uh, fantastic memories as The Relic. <laughs> who knew we'd get that guy on here twice? Yeah. Time cop. Time wow. cop. Three times. Oh, he's on the wall. And that means wow. yes, Peter Hyams has wall. been put on the Saturday Night Freak Show. Wall of Fame, welcome right. aboard, sir. That's right. Your check, uh, your, your certificate. <laughs> the is picture's going to be really dark on the wall, though. Yeah, so you're going to tell yeah. it's you, yeah. but... It's going to be very dark. Real dark. Yeah, this guy has a uh, visual style. Yeah, he does. There may be another another one on my list oh, in the no. future. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. We won't talk about it right now. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, lighting is not something he's real... He doesn't like familiar with he strong doesn't value it. He doesn't you know, value it. That's yeah. that's a good way to put well, it. Well, he's like, I, it's like, because some people, you know, they want to paint with the darkness, paint with the shadows or whatever. And I don't know when he actually started. And well, he did one of my for favorite For some movies. people, that's effective. Yes. <laughs> I think there's exactly one scene in this movie where it works really well and the rest is very overused. He did uh, Outland. Is that what you're looking up? He the Sean the Connery classic? He did the Musketeer. I don't he remember did, that one being all that dark. Stay tuned. 
Yeah. Yeah. Stu- uh, oh. Sudden Death. Didn't he do a couple of yep. Jean Claude Van Damme movies? Yeah. <laughs> the Presidio. Yeah. I don't remember. Running the, Scared. The original. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. The um, that was the uh, Gregory Hines and um, Billy Crystal one. Yes. Not the Paul Walker one. No, correct. No, no, no. Um, but yeah, I mean, his visual style is very dark. I think we, if you go back and listen to our episode on the Relic, um, yeah, because we said he he serves as his own cinematographer he on does. movies, and it's like, and that's a mistake. Is it? It's mm. just it's shadow. It's like there's a combination of things I think that's happening. That this one I didn't feel was as bad as the Relic, where the Relic was like all shot in close ups in the dark. Yeah, this one's at least. Wide Why? enough that you can make out human shit, and I feel like there was actually daylight scenes in this movie. Whereas I feel like the relic was either exclusively at night or inside. Yeah. Like I don't in remember any daylight. The yeah, there was a little bit of daylight in that because they uh, uh, they're on a boat at the very beginning. Tom Sizemore okay. and his partner on the boat where they find the first body. Yeah, just take your hold. word for it because I barely remember. Yeah, there's establishing <laughs> shots yeah, that are yeah. time in there. Yep, you picked it. The relic. I thought I picked it. No, I picked it. See, it <laughs> as soon as we way. finish an episode, why it is are we out fighting of our over brains. this? No, Holly picked it. Blame her. I don't All care. further emails go to her. <laughs> I don't care. Wow, Peter yeah. Himes. There you go. Oh, that's right. Because I forgot. Like he was one of those guys who had the uh, at at one point in his career was like the hubris of this man to actually follow Stanley Kubrick and make a sequel to a Stanley <laughs> Kubrick masterpiece. <laughs> I think somebody else had the hubris before him, though. I'll, I'll yeah, well, it. Richard Franklin did Psycho 2. I think that was <laughs> like one, but uh, 2010 was a Peter Hyams movie. Yes. Oh. Yeah. yeah. The year Yikes. we made contact. Yep. Remember that? I try not to. <laughs> I've never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, who stars in yeah, this movie? Yeah, who's in this movie? Yeah. Oh, obviously uh, Schwarzenegger. Come on. And this is- yes. I think I mean I mean let's be real when we think of this movie if you think of this movie it's the movie where Schwarzenegger fights the devil I mean that's yes. what we know this as right yeah like, that's an odd cho- career choice it is but very specific reason he chose this movie um, they wanted Tom Cruise you and yeah mm-hmm. but it's funny because I thought of the mummy a lot while we were watching yeah. this movie mm-hmm. yeah. um, but Schwarzenegger was actually having issues getting work. He hadn't worked in a couple of years uh, after. Eraser will do that to you. Well, <laughs> no. His last action hero tanked his <laughs> No, no, it was after um, Batman and Robin. Uh, he, had had, he had had heart surgery after, oh, he after playing yeah. Mr. Freeze, and he couldn't get uh, studios to insure, insure him. him. Yeah. yeah. So he took this project, and, stu- and Studios X were there like, like every day for the first few days because they didn't okay, trust Arnold. it. And then they saw him running down the street and they're like, all right, we can go. Mm-hmm. He's going to be fine. It is a really weird fit. I mean, it, yeah. it feel it just feels like out of step, at least in, until that point in his career with like the types of movies that he would do. Because, I mean, Arnold Schwarzenegger was always like, you know, I mean, he was the god of cinema cinema. OK, he was the god of movies when mm-hmm. I was growing up. Sure. I mean, that, those were the biggest movies mm-hmm. of the year, yeah. you know. And uh, it seems like that started to flag toward the end of the 90s. And mm-hmm. then. This was the beginning of like collateral damage in the oh. sixth day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. The racer, you know. yeah. It was like the, yeah, it was like he had had his run and then there was like the kind of limp along mm-hmm. and then he became governor of California. Right. I was like, that in politics. <laughs> <laughs> then he tried to come back. Anybody remember the last stand? Anyone? Yeah. Oh, I saw that, that in Johnny theaters. Knoxville movie? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, Eraser. Right. Or no, no, sorry. Uh, uh, well, he's done the, a no, bunch of the Expendables. Plan. and like, yeah. all the yeah. Escape Plan yeah. movies. Yeah. And, what? Think... There's like three Escape Plan movies, right? There's yes. a lot of them. Batista. Is he in them, though? Or did... No. Stallone's in all three of them, yeah. I okay. believe. I think Schwarzenegger's just in the first. Um, I think Schwarzenegger's lucky enough that his direct-to-video phase still went to theater. Like, I yeah. think he yeah. was big enough That's true. that... His direct video stuff still went there. That's I think very that's true. That's the power he had. And he's a writer director. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. that's the thing. So, uh, uh, Stallone can make a project for himself. Yeah. Where, that's very uh, true. Yeah. Schwarzenegger, I don't think Do you can. think Tom Cruise is kicking himself for picking Magnolia over this? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think either of those two fit this movie very well. I know. No. Yeah, Ugh. you're thinking about, but I mean, it's just, it's a weird, you know, trying to, you know, it's like, well, we're going to, we're going to fight the devil. Who's the, you know, like a, <laughs> uh, uh, someone that I, uh, 
associate with someone having a spiritual crisis, mm-hmm. you know, like Stellan Sarsgaard. Or something. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Keanu. <laughs> yeah. Ke- yeah. Yeah. I yeah. thought about that movie. Yeah. I was thinking about this that movie a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. for sure. That would be because I've, I've seen. Well, I was thinking De- Devil's Advocate. Oh, that say, one too. Yeah. I was, right, yeah. I was like Devil's of, Advocate. Yeah. So I was thinking because <laughs> yeah. that's that's the '90s Devil movie. I've seen a bunch. Right. The Devil's yeah. Advocate, right, yeah. not this one. So, which is why I brought this. Yeah. <laughs> Who plays the devil? Gabriel Byrne. Good choice, bad choice. Good choice. I, I good think choice. he's a good choice. I good think he's choice. a good choice. I, I think, think he's a great choice. I think he's having fun. Yeah. Okay, but what, I mean, what, what makes him a good choice? Because he's suave, mm-hmm. and that's how I am charming and charming, and that's he how can, I picture well, the and devil he can to flip. Be. He can yeah. do the menacing as well. Yeah. Because I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to be menaced by Gabriel Byrne. Was he menacing? He could be. He can be. Yeah. I think was he's he menacing in this movie. There was a couple times that he'd flip the switch. That I mean, I think he was menacing. Whether he was directed properly or not, I don't know. But mm. I think he did a good job. Yes. Okay. So and he has a certain look. I guess yeah, you know he could play Dracula. He's got that mm-hmm. swagger. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He's got that swagger. Is that what we're saying for the devil? You got to kind of. You got to have you, long swagger. trench coat. Yeah. Swagger. Well, yeah. it's the nineties, right? Yep. So, yeah. So. The Crow only came out a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. We're going on goth. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I don't know if he's goth though. He's, he's stockbroker. You know, he's Wall Street, so he's got like the like mm-hmm. the w- the New York winter coat that a stockbroker would wear. They do have to have yeah. black hair though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Obviously, he's yeah. missing a goatee, but mm-hmm. you know, I mean, nah. No, he should not have a goatee. That's old. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's old power. devil. Yeah. yeah. That's like if Satan is in the Marx Brothers. Yeah. Like, right. That was no. supposed to come down to a sharp point. Yeah. Come no. on. That's too <laughs> obviously devil. He's got to blend yeah. in a little bit more than that. Right. Yeah. Does this have, uh, is this a stereotypical devil? This version? Well, I mean, or just the mean? idea of like, he's going to. I think this know. is like the stereotypical modern devil. Yeah. yeah. Like, isn't that. Sean, did you say you would watch Lucifer? The TV yes, show? Okay. I've does this, does the, how, how is the devil is portrayed? A, yes, What's the comparison? The yeah. more a suave, dark haired man. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Usually they would have, he would have stubble now. Yeah. Although yeah. Al Pacino's devil was, um, <laughs> I mean, different. Yeah. Well, there's Jack uh, Nicholson's uh, Witches of Eastwick. That mm-hmm. was like sure. a pretty, like, he, yeah. yeah. The horny devil, right? Mm-hmm. We can't, we can't forget. Spoiler alert for uh, Winter's Tale. Skip ahead 15 seconds uh, if you care about yeah. them. We, Will Smith played the devil <laughs> very recently. Oof. Yeah. That was, yeah. That, I would say that does not fit the archetype of the modern devil. <laughs> I would like to see his portrayal of the devil. Well, then watch Winter's Tale, my friend. Uh, I don't want to watch it. Yeah, okay, well, then you don't care that That's much. That's YouTube exists. Hey, he's a devil that wears ACDC t-shirts. Yeah. That's how you know he's a cool guy. Yeah. Is the devil a cool guy? I mean, I guess is the whole idea. Well, he's the coolest. Colin, and he has gonna, to be yeah. cool because like his MO is he has to like seduce you to his side. Yes. Right. He takes you through like enchanting you with seduction, not through force or threat. Yeah. You, know? you will make the choice. Yeah, not him. exactly. Mm-hmm. He'll just present the options. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess I thought of Constantine because I'm like Peter Starmar's devil was like, I like that one. I, he oh, might yeah, be he's... my favorite like modern era like devil. <laughs> like he was creepy, creepy devil. Mm-hmm. Vigo Mortensen and the prophecy. Okay, we're just going to go down a list. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm trying to grade. Cinematic like, devils. Yeah, where does Gabriel Burns' devil fall into into this uh, thing? Okay, so... Um, Definitely in that section of 90s devil. 90s yeah. devil. 90s modern devil. Yeah. So what is the devil after... In the end of days. What is the devil doing in New York at New Year's Eve? <laughs> on Y2K. Yeah. He's looking yeah. for his bride because obviously every thousand years, the devil comes to earth to search for his bride to consummate. And yes. To sire a child. Yeah. He has one hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a, a one hour window. Yeah. This is amazing. A one hour a window once a millennium. Yes. <laughs> to destroy the world and for him to take over. <laughs> Interesting. So I guess because that's always a thing, you're always going to have like, I suppose, like there's always the idea of the Antichrist, right? right. There's going to be like uh, the prophesied, the the, the anti-Jesus, right. basically, yes. right? That's, so I'm like, yep. all right, so is that what they're, that's what they're getting at here, right? They're going to birth the Antichrist because we've seen Rosemary's baby yeah. and the omen. And so we're going to, we're going to, we're going to birth the Antichrist. Yeah. And he's actually has to come and personally do the, the inseminating himself. I mean, that's the yes. fun part, right? <laughs> I'm not going to skip devil. that part. Yeah. I'm not going to uh, skip that him, part. I mean, the first yeah. thing he did when he got into his body, I yep. mean, 
That's what he was he's assault here for. a woman. Yeah, yes. he did. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's walking around with a boner this whole movie. Yep. Just every single. That's because he's been, literal, like he can't. Yeah. He's down there. He can't feel like the the physical pleasures that we do. So that's the first thing he does when he comes up. I know. I'm surprised that he wasn't like you know partaking in Eating. every yeah like yeah, a yeah, hot yeah. dog because I'm sure Lucifer does that on that show. Yeah. Right? Oh that's yeah. The whole, oh that's like, uh, <laughs> in. Um, Oh, yeah, it's, in su- it's, it's in Supernatural. Mm. Is, it, is it the devil's always eating, or is it death is always eating? Ooh, I don't know. Mm, I've I never seen it. I'm not a Supernatural person. No? Yeah, I just watch nope. it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the thing, right? The 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 Bible story Jesus gives you this uh, idea that like even though you have a supernatural being shoved into a human form, the human humanity kind of like distorts. You know, and there's a struggle. Right. The devil doesn't never seem to have that in the movie. He's just like, you know, super powered dude who can go around. Right. Because I mean, technically speaking, in this in this scenario, he's just he's just taken over a body. Whereas like Jesus was an actual man. Nothing like took over that body. He this was, is like possession. Right. There's no possession involved. Like Jesus was born, but he was um, not saying I believe this, just saying like this is how the story goes. Right, right. <laughs> he was zombies and ghosts. That's he was right. born as the son of God, whereas he's just taking over a vessel. Okay. In this mm-hmm. case, so there's they, he doesn't have the duality. Yeah. It's like Jason goes to hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's exactly. just wearing a man yeah. suit. Exactly. Yeah. That's all we need, Jesus, Jason. Yeah. Yeah. This we is, got this. Uh, is this the better movie? <laughs> is this the better version of Jason Goes to Hell? <laughs> <laughs> the Hidden was the better the, the version. Hidden, of, yeah, uh, yeah, Jason yeah, goes yeah to hell. that's true. Um. Okay, so we've got the devil on earth, and he needs a bride, but it's not just right. any bride. Right. No. She is born at a very specific time. It's Christ it's, in New York. It's all. <laughs> 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 it is. That's a joke in the movie. Or we're, we're probably going to get to that later. <laughs> yeah. We have to talk about that okay. moment. But okay, so yeah. how? The whole, the whole oh, thing no. is, is based on like a celestial calendar. Like the stars align and just the right moment that a baby is born and she's the chosen one. Okay. Yeah. And so the... Uh, she has the mark of the beast. And the Catholic Church is like, we have to fan out across the globe, and we have to actually find this girl. The Pope is like... Because right. all the cardinals... Are, well, one cardinal, the American one, is like, we have to kill her! Right. <laughs> the Pope is like, no, 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 we, we have to like, love calm her. Calm down, calm down. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so they fan out across the globe. So then we're introduced... There's a nurse that actually does find a, a girl that's being born... And we're like, okay, she must be like, uh, yeah. you know, agent of the the. So this this is where I'm a little unclear of the semantics of like how did how did they know? So obviously we've got like the the church people we've versus the Satan worshippers, right? Like standard. But the Satan worshippers like knew that this was the moment that she'd be born. Yeah. Did they ever specify like how they know that? She's got the mark on her. Okay, but. They're probably like, they're probably looking for like around this time. So they have a, but how do they know it's? They this read time? the like, same book. Yeah, there's some sort of shared prophecy that's what, somewhere. That's what I'm yeah, like, yeah. How but do it's they not know clear. this? Like, yeah. I, I need to know how the Satanists know, like, to go to this hospital, right, or to plant a member of their organization in every hospital room at this time. Like, I want to know how Holly. they got there. Yeah, <laughs> but it's there's like, not that many of them. Like, uh, by the end right. of this movie, Holly? I was shocked you don't at know how that. many there were. There was like an <laughs> army of Satan worshippers running know. around on the streets. I, just, of New York. I have so many questions. Yeah, do they meet monthly? Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they stand in a band pool. They slam axes together. Yeah, <laughs> that's what's happening in Cobra. Like, yeah. is this like, is this like a Freemason situation? Yes. That, like, okay. Yeah, it is normal everyday life. This is the meeting Illuminati? once a month. Yes. <laughs> Except they they do know their bizarre rituals, which uh, the doctor because mm-hmm. the doctor's also in. Do you think the they have a newsletter? Mm-hmm. I wonder. Well, now it's an email newsletter. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, on a secure server, mostly like mm-hmm. Satan monthly on the dark web. Mm-hmm. Um, the doctor Udo Kier. Mm-hmm. I know Udo, Udo! Kier is in this movie. He plays such a good creepy dude. Yeah, mm-hmm. Udo Kier's appearance is significant because, according to MF Mad, the keeper of the Saturday Night Freak Show it. Wall of Fame, that's right. I knew it. Udo Kier, <laughs> welcome aboard, sir. You welcome, are now sir. on the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame because he was in this movie. And I know. I've been flash for Frankenstein and. I thought it was something else recent too. I know. I was like, I remembered Flesh of Frankenstein, but what well, was the other? Yeah, we watched Suspiria way back in the day. Oh. Suspiria. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So he's a creepy doctor, mm-hmm. and uh, you have to baptize the baby. 
in snake blood. Yeah. Well, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Be- uh, rattlesnake or something like that. You yeah. got to cut Does it, it open and. Like, did it matter what kind of? I know, I know the serpent. Like, I get the imagery, but did it matter what kind of snake, or just have to be a snake? I mean, rattlesnake's the most badass, right? Yeah. Like, I think that's what they were going for. Was like, I, mean, it, I don't know, a cobra would be. Pretty, yeah, 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 yeah. I think they're just like it's ven- venomous. Can so you it's imagine the most badass. Udo Kier going to a pet shop, going, "I need something very badass." <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> for a satanic Do ritual, you have please. A yeah, it has to have venom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's venom a doctor, and preferably <laughs> blood. <laughs> yeah, we need blood. So. Uh, the baby's born, and we cut sure. to uh, twenty years. Who later. thought they were gonna kill the baby? Anybody? I I, I did because it felt so much like Halloween. Li- Halloween uh, six. Yeah, yeah. It did. <laughs> yeah, it's like oh, this is weird. Yeah, I actually thought that maybe they were gonna do a fake mm-hmm. out, like you know, they're like uh, the because the the you, we're seeing you know the Pope saying you got to go find the baby, right. and then we you would... thought they were gonna be part of the church and killing yeah. just innocent babies yeah. that could yeah, yeah, be yeah, the yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah that's a whole Harry Potter situation. Yeah. Until the exactly. actual one is born, but anyway, she's born. I appreciated the setup. Yep. Mm-hmm. This is a good fake out. 20 years later, she's a young woman in New York, but we don't get to meet her first because yeah. we have to detour this plot so we can introduce... What's his name? Jericho. Just Jericho? Oh, no, his name is... Um... Shit, what is it? It's Jericho Kane. I knew oh, it. that's it. Uh, Jericho Kane. Yes. There you go. There you was a doctor two. named Abel in this as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> uh, yeah, there was uh, Thomas Aquinas, yeah. I think, was also. Mm-hmm. Also yeah. mentioned in Seven, Thomas Aquinas. Yep, uh-huh. yep. Uh-huh. Um, so Jericho Kane, what do we know about mm-hmm. this guy? Uh, ex-cop. And he's going to tell you about that all the fucking time, yeah. just so we, you're the not audience, gonna, you're not aren't gonna confused. Forget. You're, not gonna Ooh, forget. you're acting like a cop now. You remember when you used to be a cop? Don't do that, because you should wait for the cops to get I here. I mean, I get it, home. but at the same time, like, Schwarzenegger's in the movie. We're going to assume he was an ex-cop. Yeah. Right? If he's running around like, shooting people and no one's saying anything. I just assume. Like, well, probably he, a cop. Yeah. Still so, got a badge. Are we? It, what? Still got a badge. He had a badge? Well, he's with the security firm. Yeah, now he's... Yeah, now he's with a private security company. So there's this massive opening. Well, I just wanted to touch on right before sure. we get into the massive opening. Uh, mm-hmm. His breakfast re- regime. Uh, oh my god! Did, hold on, Michaela. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go over the menu for his breakfast? Okay, I'll try to get, re- remember if, everything. I think okay. I saw. If okay, after he picked up this pizza, he cut it in half. Just saying. Yeah, I right. <laughs> <Which is right>. <laughs> <laughs> it was a hot cup of coffee. Okay. Yep. And with I, enough caffeine to kill an elephant, half, to Mr. half a warm overnight beer that was sitting yeah. out. Yeah. Like, that was the one that really made me gag. Okay. Um, there was a piece of pizza from the floor. Yep. There was, was there eggs or something? A container of Chinese food. Chinese yeah, food. Chinese yep. Food. And then I feel like there's two other things. There was another Pepto-Bismol. Li- Pepto-Bismol. Pepto-Bismol. Yep. yep. And there was an- another liquid I thought too, maybe, but. Because he's that nursing been a- one hell of a hangover. Clearly. He puts all this in a blender. And, and then drinks brown. it. Yeah. Um, and if Ugh. you didn't know that he was suicidal, I mean, this would be the thing that yep. would uh, it would convince you. Yeah. But, you know, we had the scene right before right. that, the, the lethal weapon scene where he's trying to blow his head off. I Okay, that's the <laughs> one scene in the movie where I feel like the lighting choice worked. I thought okay. it looked good yeah. in this scene. Because and like the blinds were closed. The blinds were closed works. and yeah. it was depressing because he was about to kill himself. Yes. Like it's bleak as fuck. Yeah. Like and then And when we you know have... who it is. We don't need to see like full face recognition like we can see who it is. Right. Like it yeah. yeah. Like his profile is enough. Yeah. yeah. And then I liked I agree. That, that the way they broke that tension though was having Kevin Pollock come in and literally open the blinds. I like that that's yeah. how it like they broke it up. Yeah. It worked for me. Yeah, he's the, the comedic relief in this mm-hmm. as, as he as he does mm-hmm. so well. Yeah. And I actually, I like him in this part. Yeah, I think he's I think great. He's fun. Because I think he needs someone like that, you know. To for, balance it, yeah. yeah. Which is interesting because, you know, I was I was thinking about this. You know, last week we saw Virtuosity mm-hmm. and Denzel Washington's a great actor. But in that movie, he was just kind of, um, you know, stoic and serious and right. kind of boring. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, but Schwarzenegger's not boring in this. No, and he's actually fairly of- animated in this. Is it because he's animated? He also has the interplay. That's I guess somebody the thing. Like he's pretty. Uh, at some point, he at some points he seems like unhinged. You know, mm-hmm. whereas yeah, he's Denzel, a little nutty. He's a little nutty. Denzel never really felt like that. Yeah. What's he say to the devil in the middle of their conversation? 
Uh, Which part? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. I want you to go to hell. Yeah. No, it or was the... Like oh, I'll think of it. Keep going. Okay, uh, yeah. But it has the... And I guess there's the idea that, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger's fighting the devil. Like, how's that going to work? You know, mm-hmm. I got to see that. It's going to work well, Colin. I think it really works the same way as uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger versus any big bad guy. Yeah. It's gonna yeah. Be yeah. It seems guns, like. explosions, which is how Schwarzenegger... It, if you look at the basics of this movie, it's the same thing. Yeah. yeah. He's just got to protect the girl, fight the bad mm-hmm. guy. Just the details change. It's a little like bit. how we talked about last week, like Denzel and Virtuosity seemed like they just green screened him into a different movie. Mm. It's kind of how it feels with Schwarzenegger, too. Like they just put a different scenery behind him, but it's the same character, you yeah. know? And yeah. kind of felt like it sometimes mm-hmm. with this bad green screen. Yep. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah no green kidding. Screen is a jump. Mm hmm. Um, <laughs> never. But I mean, yeah. It, yeah, 1999, yeah. the same year as The Phantom Menace. So the technology <laughs> yeah. is there. <laughs> and The Matrix, mm-hmm. which oh, basically yeah. I think put the death knell on, on this era of Schwarzenegger's <laughs> yeah. career. But yeah. if you ever wanted to see Arnold Schwarzenegger fight the devil with a fucking grenade launcher, God damn it, this mm-hmm. is the movie for you. I never thought that you'd ever see Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's a weird, it's like, it wants to be a horror movie, but it also wants to be an act, a big action it, movie. It, it wants to be yeah. Seven, and it wants to be Terminator at the same time. Right. Yeah. yeah. Seven was Schwarzenegger. Because mm-hmm. there is a giant set piece that opens up this movie with stunts yeah. and helicopters. And it was awesome. I was into great. every minute of it. I know. Great. I was like, you know what? Those guys are on that roof. That guy's attached to that helicopter, and that yeah, guy's going to run off him. of it, and they're all there. Yeah. None of that was CGI. Mm-hmm. No, I fucking loved it. This yeah. felt expensive as all hell, too. I love. Right? I'm just like, well, I almost badly, though, I'm just like, Jesus, we're just throwing away money on shit, aren't we? But no, I was like, I was more just like, oh my God, it's it's cool to see real people doing real stunts yeah. instead of all like yeah. CGI oh, yeah. fake shows. Like, oh my God, oh, this yeah. is so cool. Put yeah. inside in the sun. Mm-hmm. That's why I guess the opening scene, it did when I was saying it, it reminded me of The Mummy, because The Mummy has like they spent a ton of money on that airplane scene that's in all the right. trailers mm. where it's like this seems like like the script at some point once Arnold Schwarzenegger got attached they wrote this scene oh, oh yeah right oh, it was yeah. like it wasn't in the script originally <laughs> right and then no. like it. right I don't know so he's chasing down an active shooter on rooftops and he's I mean, tethered to a helicopter so the helicopter can like basically help him speed run across these rooftops right this is after he made the helicopter come down hover like two feet above some cars so he could jump into it yeah also, a stunt guy did yeah, that, too. Yeah, yeah, Love yeah. it. It's real people doing the, yeah. the stunts. Okay, but I, wait. I can, I can kind of see that this was written this way. It was written by um, Andrew Marlowe. He did Air Force One. And, ah, yeah. bravo, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Hollow Man. Oh, oh, no, no. Take it back. 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 I looked at Sean as I said that. You know, there's many times I've thought about bringing that movie. I know you have. No, don't. But I think the bad vibes might just kill everyone. I think yeah, so. They, I think so. Yeah, they will. But did you guys think <laughs> so? as close as we're getting to it. So he did the, he's tethered to the helicopter, does a little run across the rooftops. They drop him down onto the car. But when he got down on the ground and was still attached, did you guys think he was going to run on the streets and the helicopter yeah. would have to yeah, follow him? Yeah, he I did. Yeah. The thing I did. And I he was still attached. Was, right. he I'm was still like, attached. how's this going to work? Yeah, going to pull the rest of that too. sign off. Because there are shots where he's still has the, the cable tether yeah. Yeah. Up to him. so I'm like oh this is the, gonna be the best chase scene ever Hell through right. the streets of New leash. York yeah, yeah. Right. the guy's to the thing and he's trying to get it off and yeah. the helicopter's gotta stay with him and yeah. certain traffic things and he's just getting lifted up and brought yeah. back down how fun amazing. this could be you make That'd a be Macy's amazing. Day Parade joke in here somewhere right you yeah. know <laughs> It's a sight to behold. It's wonderful. Um, and then we settle into the movie proper, where uh, the, it turns out that the uh, assassin is a priest, um, right. and the priest was trying to shoot uh, Gabriel Byrne, mm-hmm. who's now been possessed by the devil. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he takes possession of this businessman's body in a restaurant, molests some guy's wife. Was it his wife? I don't know. I think it was no, the guy's, guy's wife. wife. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. leaves the restaurant. Which explodes, and we're yep. like, okay, because uh, they do when the devil's been close or something. Yeah. What better intro? I mean, he did go to the bathroom, and we know what his <laughs> urine does. Yeah. So, what does his urine do? Explodes. It's flammable. Very Colin. flammable. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. He pisses gasoline, basically. And basically, he's yeah. the devil. I would expect mm-hmm. so. Yeah. I mean, he's it's basically straight flame. What, it's like straight sulfur, right? Like mm-hmm. it makes sense. I don't know. 
So this priest, we're led to the apartment of the priest. And apartment is generous, but okay. Oh, it's a like a lair. <laughs> lair, lair. Lair is more the accurate. Sewer? Yeah. Yeah. Where do they keep the things? Crawl space. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. where they are. I mean, it's one of those like, I mean, this is like a, a cliche, right? That you're doing. It seems like I, I can't imagine that Seven was the first thing. To catacombs. Do this, he lives in does, catacombs. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like Seven was the first one they had like, you know, you go into the killer's lair and they're just going to have like religious iconography all over the place. Mm -hmm. We're going in with flashlights. It's just creepy. Right. God bless those Catholics. Because you know what? If we didn't have Catholicism, we wouldn't have half the horror movies. Any of the horror movies. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. That's true. (laughs) True. They have creepy iconography, so it helps create the atmosphere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Baptist horror movie and the Protestant. There's a couple yeah. Jewish horror movies, the, the yeah. Dibbix and all that. Yeah, stuff. I was going to say, um, if it wasn't Catholicism, it'd be something else. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so anyway, this leads them in pursuit. Now they know that they're after a woman because uh, the end of days is coming. We're, and her we're told. picture's in a jar. <laughs> yeah. Now, wait, no, no. How do they know they're... Okay, they know they're chasing a woman. Yeah. But how are they going to find out who it is? Uh, <laughs> wildly conjecture you're right Colin <laughs> <laughs> there's one literally the, pull it out of the air yeah <laughs> there's one of the greatest look guys and this is the writer on the phone I can't get him from A to B what do I do yeah. <laughs> if he just says Shrug? it out loud yeah. as is, I explained to you last week Michaela if you just say if it, you out, just loud, say it, it out loud it makes sense it, it's yeah, true word association yep. you'll yeah. get yep. there yep. this is what Sean was alluding to at the beginning of the show where like the guy has uh, you know scarred into him Latin on his <laughs> chest we yep. find out at the hospital right yes yep. um, and uh, the doctor can read Latin thank God and well, he's able- an old doctor, so he you know studied it. Uh, kind of, medical proceedings. I kind of buy it though, because a lot of medical terminology has Latin roots. So right. I, f- I kind of buy it. And it could be a Catholic is hospital. Old. Yeah, I kind of buy it. Right. I'm no, okay no, I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay with, with, it. with it. I'm okay with it. Okay, but yeah. he ends up something. Uh, end of days are coming. The last thousand years are are drawing to a close, and something about Christ in New York. And Schwarzenegger is like, it could mean anything. It could be Chris in New York. It could be Christina York. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's it. That's it's how just it like is. two guesses and then he gets yep. her name. It's like, let's look that up. This is our lead. And there's yeah. only like, one Christine York in all of New just York. Just the one. Just yeah. one. Just the one. So who plays her? Robin Tunney. Who we would all know from? The craft, okay, obviously, right. and probably Empire, Empire Records. Empire Records, Empire yeah. Records yeah. yeah. I mean, Ms. we've known Rex Manning the Mentalist. Come on, people! <laughs> oh, it's another secret show Sean watches. Uh, <laughs> I promise you, I am forced to watch most of these shows. <laughs> Excuse me, Cliffhanger. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. Not, wait, not Cliffhanger. Wait, is it Cliffhanger? I don't no. think she's in... Which is the... No, no, no. Um, 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 vertical... Vertical vo- Limit! Oh. Vertical oh. Limit! Yes, thank you. Vertical Limit. Wait, is it Vertical Limit or... It's Vertical Limit. Vol- is yeah, it Crystal O'Donnell in there, yeah. right? Yes, he is. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah. Vertical oh. Limit. Yeah. Hell of an opening to that Bill movie. Paxton yeah. is the bad guy? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I thought about yeah. bringing that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, so now we got to introduce... Somehow we got to get uh, Schwarzenegger to... Uh, the girl, right? Mm-hmm. And he's found out he's the uh, head of the cops. He's not a cop. We're told Excellent. again, yeah. he's not a cop. Yeah. Because CCH Pounder is the cop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, who we think is a cop, but she's actually part of the I mean, satanic... she is a cop, but. Well, yeah, but yeah. She's, a, she's a turncoat cop. She's part of the satanic mm-hmm. army because everybody is. So at some point, um, if I remember correctly, uh, Schwarzenegger had to go seek the assistance of Rod Steiger. He did. Mm-hmm. Who's. Um, playing a priest again amityville horror that's why he's in this movie probably right. um and he oversees like a catacomb of um it's like i don't know like you know the catholic church has when you go into any cath- if, any cathedral underground they've got the room right. with the people it's talking the same room the green goo was in in john carpenter's right it's, yeah. the, it's that same lower level yeah but they've just where got, all this stuff happens, like Q Branch, right, right. from Van Helsing, yeah. is uh, down working under there. Yeah, this is where all the stigmata and all the the I'm, I'm gonna say that the black market religious learnings and teachings right. happen. <laughs> when, right, the when, stuff that the regular churchgoers would not be able to handle. Right. Things you would not understand. I knew that Rod line was yeah. coming. Yeah, <laughs> you are <laughs> dealing with forces you can't compre- possibly right? comprehend. Trailer moment. Yep. Have yep. you started speaking in an ancient language that you shouldn't know? <laughs> oh, We've got the place for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got that line in there too. It was amazing. Um, so, uh, but the devil is 
also after this girl. Right, his bride. Yes. I'm trying to think. Like, the next major plot element is, like, everybody ends up at her house, right? This is where Schwarzenegger meets her as well, she's being... Um, we should say she keeps having, like, visions of yeah. things mm. that are, like... She thinks they're psychotic hallucinations. Like, yes. a homeless guy explodes, turns into porcelain and explodes on her on the subway. Yes. And totally just, shatters in front of her. Yes. Yeah, weird shit like that all the yeah. time. And her stepmother, who was the nurse from the beginning of the movie who took her down to Udo Kier to get the mm-hmm. bap- mm-hmm. the snake baptism, mm-hmm. um, has become her stepmother. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure it's just... I know, I love that. <laughs> it's like her mother died. Or Kevin Pollack tells us this. Her mother died. The she married fa- the father. <laughs> and mm-hmm. Then he died. She became... Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All yeah, sure. in order to protect their sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Right. This is a long game. Long game. Yeah, yeah. But that's... Yeah. I mean, that's what the religious do. Well, yeah. we're also all playing a long time. That's like, true. Well, and I have to assume that like they just killed her parents and get and, oh, yeah, yeah, fed, yeah. and fed her that story. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. If not the yeah. parents. Yeah. And I, I also, you know, the idea that like so she's been chosen specifically. Um, this is the vessel for the yes. Antichrist to be born. Yes. Although I'm not sure that's actually what's happening here because it sounds like basically just by the act of him having sex with her was going to open the gates of hell. Like you don't even have to have a kid. But then they do talk about him siring a kid. They do. I don't know if the him siring a child is the same as us siring a child. You know what I mean? Because we were getting, well, we were getting down to the limit there. And I'm pretty sure, like, mm-hmm. if he had just, like, kissed her. But he did kiss her. He didn't. Not when he was Schwarzenegger. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out the rules of this movie because he comes down to it. Well, he's got a timeline. He's supposed to do it before midnight, right? Yeah. yeah. And so we're having time. huge, so right. Houston. Each, we're having huge, like, <laughs> fights and bouncing Schwarzenegger. We'll get there. But. Uh, <laughs> He's not playing with time well. <laughs> yeah. But it, he has it poor says, time management skills, he you does. Would say. He yeah. really does. But it does say that like his body was also chosen, right? The man's body was they also say chosen. That, yes. But then the end of the movie just throws that rule right out. Yeah. Right. They say okay. a male vessel was chosen mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. But here we go. Maybe that's why it doesn't work at the end. I mean, maybe. Because the original plan. Maybe. Right. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. he wasn't the chosen was one. Strong so of heart, but maybe not. Yeah. And he can't. Uh, can't deal with Schwarzenegger's fucking grenade launcher. Um, <laughs> Schwarzenegger is doing something different here in you know his career. He's playing a depressed character, right? He mm-hmm. has lost his uh, wife and um, daughter. <laughs> depressed and sarcastic, Schwarzenegger sounds an awful lot alike. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I mean, I, I haven't rem- you know I can't. Re- he's done stuff like this since, and he's done horror movies since. I think he mm-hmm. did um, Maggie. Yeah, the zombie the where zombie he had a zombie movie. daughter. Um, but it's like okay, it's a different shade. To you know what Schwarzenegger's doing, mm-hmm. so this is, I guess, what kind of is he's lost his faith in God. Mm-hmm. Did did we get the idea that he was a religious guy before this? Um, not necessarily that he was religious before, but like just I mean, he, he has no reason to be now, right? Like, I was gonna yeah. say the death of his daughter and wife did not help him, in right? Yeah. So this is going to be... Like, so he did not turn to God mm-hmm. when they died. Because right. I guess, you know, if you're looking at like the character traje- trajectory there, then it's like, okay, it, you know, this character is going to refine his lost faith in order to beat the devil at the end. And there's mm-hmm. like some kind of like allusions to that because at some point he does toss his machine gun away because he's like, I'm not going to be able to beat him with my machine gun, you know? Yeah, it feels a little forced to me, that moment. And Just because it's supposed a, to be that moment. They also have the scene that I think you have to have in these movies, which is usually like uh, the reason that you want to see them is the showdown between like the verbal showdown, mm-hmm. the testing of your uh, commitment, you know, yeah, your whatever. will right, and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this was but like a sitcom the- pilot. In this movie, it's, yeah. it's, it's supposed to be like, you know, the temptation in the Garden of Eden, but it's... Um, it's more buddy comedy. <laughs> yeah, when you're walking around your apartment yeah. and like pouring a drink while you're having this conversation, it doesn't read as like super tense, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not supposed to. No, like, I know, but yeah. that's what gives it the sitcom feel is it's that it, it's such a casual like conversation. I want that sitcom. <laughs> you didn't come up with the line that he said during the. No, I can't yeah. think of it. Okay. It's during that scene <laughs> where he just goes nuts. He's like, I'm going to do something. The, the line that got me was in the third act. And because I said, it sounds like a trailer line. He says, you're telling me I have to believe in God to solve this case. Yeah, yeah. that line fucking line. killed me. Loved it. Yeah. Loved it. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember. You what could that. totally take that line and edit this trailer into a comedy movie yeah, for sure. I think you probably could. 
I'm trying to remember the actual trailer. I mean, like as lines were being said, I'm like, that was in it, you know, mm-hmm. or this moment was in it or whatever. Um, so Schwarzenegger's trying to protect the girl. He ends up um, uh, gaining her trust and his partner is killed, but resurrected by right. the devil. Because at then- this point, like he has saved her life because the... I don't, and they, they go back and forth, like, oh, they're the good guys staying in the Catholic Church, but they're actually there to kill her. Well, she's got priests yeah. basically on both sides right, coming yeah. to her, and so she's got to figure out who the good guys are, who the bad guys are. Right. Mm-hmm. Because she gets priests who break into her house and then try to figure for the last rites and try to sacrifice yeah. her. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's where that, Schwarzenegger saves her and yes. gains her trust. The yes. priest SWAT team. You know, yeah. Basically, yeah. they have it. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> oh my God, I want that scene, but they're wearing SWAT gear, and instead of SWAT, it says WWJD. There you go. <laughs> I want that yeah. so bad. Yeah. Uh, things explode in that scene, too. It seems like the whole apartment's yeah. on fire. Oh, this yeah. is just uh, going explosions. back to like when you have Arnold Schwarzenegger in your movie, you throw money at it. Yeah. There's just mm-hmm. scenes where it just feels like. You know, this could have been a smaller scene, but because it's an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, we got the budget. I mean, right. let's, this is what the it. audience expects. Um, yeah, we're not going to have a quiet Schwarzenegger movie. No. Right. I mean, it's very loud. Uh, he ends up <laughs> yeah. squirrel. Well, except for the music. I was going to say, it's, it's very loud until we have the gearing up scene. Oh my god! And the way this scene is edited, it's the close-ups of the bullets going in like the vest, and like all like, the, like yeah, the clipping of the of the vest. And, yeah, like but, all the little details close up, and like and there's like a rhythm to it. Schwarzenegger's even flipping stuff in his hand, and then yeah. like flipping it around, tucking it in. Totally silent. <laughs> Completely silent gearing yeah, up scene. The yeah. weirdest thing I've all ever seen. All you hear is just like the click, cocking click, of the gun click, and no. the clicking yeah. of the bullets. So we're all yep. like, "Where's the good load-up song?" Yeah, yeah. it's. Because you can feel that this movie wants to be that because it is kind of a Schwarzenegger. This is the it wanting to be that Schwarzenegger mm-hmm. action movie. But yeah. this is not its end of days. It's not that movie. Right. It feels We're like talking they about accidentally... the devil and stigmata. Right. And... right. It feels like they accidentally muted that track in this yeah. scene. It right. feels like yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's there, but they just muted it. Right. I agree. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it did feel really weird. Yeah. The um well, he squirrels her away to the mm-hmm. good the good priest, the Rod Steiger mm-hmm. uh yes. catacomb. You yeah. know, whatever. It's and like Priest Avengers there. in this movie. They're all teaming up. <laughs> I found it. You're a choir boy. Oh, yeah. To me. <laughs> Schwarzenegger. You're telling the devil. Yeah. Oh, you think you're bad, huh? You're a fucking choir boy compared to me. A choir boy. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he does it. He screams it, though. Yeah. 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 It's like he leans back to yell he's it. He's unhinged. Yeah. There's it's... spit coming out of his mouth when he's yelling that. Yeah. I'm like, wow. I he's on a that. different <laughs> level in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Gabriel he's Burns just kind of. <laughs> just army. <laughs> yeah. Just sauntering around the scene. Yeah. Doing well. And Schwarzenegger. Going nuts. Yeah, they're, they're the odd couple. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> I would, yeah. I would watch Well, here's show. looking at you, Fox. I mean, all you got to do is hire. Uh, well, wait, where is Lucifer now? Is it on Netflix or whatever? But yeah. Oh, Sean, where are you? Where can the folks <laughs> it, watch uh, Lucifer? <laughs> it's on Netflix. Um, they released the final episodes of the last season. Mm. Yeah, see, see, I knew you would know. <laughs> uh, you can bring, bring Schwarzenegger in for <laughs> yep. season five. Um, Okay, so the devil wants to know where where she's being kept. Right, that's and he's, the whole thing. He's tempting him. He's like, I can I can give you everything you want. I can make your wife and daughter come back. And he shows them the vision of their last night alive. And yeah, yeah. he kills everyone else. But he doesn't kill Schwarzenegger because I guess he has this information that he knows. Yeah. Although if he wants something from CCH Pounder and she's dead, he just brings her back to life and then she serves him. Kevin Pollock dead comes back mm-hmm. to life, serves him. Right. Could do that with Schwarzenegger. Says later, I didn't want to kill you because apparently Schwarzenegger's like he's a soul worth having. Mm-hmm. Even though in the scene prior he did crucify him in an alley, he did. Yeah, and it was up to Rod Steiger to come and and rescue him the next mm-hmm. day because he's still alive, yeah. not bleeding out. Yep, that didn't seem to matter much to the story. <laughs> yeah. It just seemed like a cool thing they wanted to do. But yeah. they do get a hold of the girl. That's very I shocking. Mean, it makes sense. That, like if you if you look at it from like a religious like philosophy standpoint it does make sense like the nature of satan like when he fell from heaven it was because of his greed and he wanted to be equals with god as opposed to worshiping god so like he he want what he can't have so i kind of get why he's like so determined to turn Schwarzenegger. Hmm. Oh, this is a tough cookie yeah yeah i kind of get it it's a game sense yeah adversary yeah but it's like he seems to have unlimited power. Um, yeah, but that's that's not part of the game. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, you got to choose it. Just like you got to choose God. You got to choose the temptation. And Schwarzenegger, man, that guy yeah. has a con- an iron constitution. He can turn down any kind of offer. I mean, we offer. saw what he drinks for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> and Sean, what was your thought on that? <laughs> about much. about his breakfast and what, like, your reaction to it? I don't remember. He oh. said, what, yeah, once I, once, oh, if a guy can drink that, he can take that. <laughs> yeah, no, if a guy can drink that, I believe he can beat the devil. <laughs> he, if he can survive that, oh, how long was that pizza on the floor? Yeah. yeah. That's so gross. That, I mean, it was the half drank warm beer for me that really, ooh, that made it too much. But just, I guess it's, it's like. It's going to be chunky mm-hmm. and cold. Ugh. It was brown. <sighs> it had the hot coffee in it. Yeah. But I guess it's part of like beat. putting Schwarzenegger in the movie, right? There's really no doubt that he has the iron metal to refuse the temptation right. of the devil, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like, man, it doesn't matter. He's, he loved his wife and kid, but he's like, he, I'm, I, they're not real, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, they're all gone. Well, he, yeah, he's got nothing <laughs> left to movie. lose, right? So right. yeah. But then you've got the, the scene of Schwarzenegger hanging out the window. And this time he's yeah. actually facing death. Like, okay, this is your chance. I can, Gabriel Burns, like, I can pull you back in. This is it. Just give me your hand. This part made me cringe because him hanging on that window sill with his hands into the shards into the of glass. glass. <laughs> oh, and, and then, then you Burns, see the like, close up of his hands afterwards. Oh, I didn't need that scene. Ooh, just. Yeah, but it, like you said, it, it, it would bother somebody for two months. But, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. Not your fun, yeah. Not but like just deep cuts in areas where your body bends just oh, gross uh, me out so much. I hate it. Uh, I'm curious about the wounds in this movie. At one point, Kevin Pollack comes over and to prove that he is still human, Schwarzenegger shoots him in the arm. He's like, oh my God, shot me in the arm. And then he's like, fine. He's totally fine. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's like just a sluggy guy in the arm. It's yeah. like, ow. Oh. He shot him in the arm. You're bleeding. Well, yeah, I'm bleeding. Okay. <laughs> It's very dramatic. Um, so they abduct the girl and they take mm-hmm. her to the uh, satanic temple. Somewhere. Right, because, at the, yeah, at this point. Um, Which is just a church, right? No, it is a satanic temple. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. underground Where? somewhere. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Because at this point, Kevin Pollock shows back up and he's like, oh, yeah, I was blown into the ditch when yeah. the van blew up mm-hmm. and I survived. And that's when he shoots him to prove that he's real. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then he reveals her location to Kevin Pollock because he trusts him. Yeah, so that's why they get her. And mm-hmm. they take her down to the... It's under the subway or something like that. And there's mm-hmm. all the fire yeah. and the candles. Mm-hmm. movie's very dim, but mm-hmm. as we've said. But it also has like this kind of brown, orange, you know, uh, black mm-hmm. uh, uh, look to it. Well, before they... Is it before they take her? The, they... Oh, no, that's in the alley. They take her there and then they're in the alley. No, they're in the alley, then they take her, and then you know, then we're underground, because this leads to like this protracted chase sequence, because we got to go from the subway altar area, mm-hmm. where I think he blasts Gabriel Byrne, and then and he kills Kevin Pollock. Like, Kevin Pollock gets lit on fire. Oh, yeah, because Kevin yeah. Pollock is... Uh, but we skipped over the part where he's crucified. Right. Well, yeah, we they it. crucify him in the, in the alley when they abduct uh, Robin Tunney. And Rod Steiger finds him the next morning mm-hmm. and saves mm-hmm. him. So then, because it's an action movie, not a horror movie, we have to do the uh, gigantic big chase scene, where which takes place on a subway train, mm-hmm. right? Yes. After the uh, ritual chamber where Schwarzenegger rescues Robin Tunney from being impregnated right there in mm-hmm. front of everybody on the altar. So at some point around here, I was actually going like, oh my God, this movie's still going. Like, <laughs> yep. you know, it's like you had the showdown, mm-hmm. uh, but now we're on a train and it's a big action set piece mm-hmm. where we have the you got Gabriel Byrne or the devil punching holes in the uh, the floor mm-hmm. and yeah. shooting at the hand. Coming yeah, because he gets floor. hit by the train and it doesn't kill him. And then when we see Gabriel Byrne again, he's got this awesome FX makeup where like his ribs are exposed, parts Half of his, his skull. Head, yeah. yeah. And it looks really good. It I does love look good. it. I love the makeup uh, mm-hmm. job here. Yeah, this can be. Yeah, and then he, he he Mr. Burns onto the bottom of the train and just punches up through the he bottom. Does. It was amazing. And then eventually at one point, because there's a conductor on the train as well, like he, he punches, punches through, through him, him yeah. which I was like, ooh, mm-hmm. yeah. it's more cool. of that. What yeah. is this? Like, I want... Mm-hmm. Yeah, because even see, I, I remember he punched that guy's heart out or yeah. whatever, but mm-hmm. like it happened so fast. Like, killing Udo Kier also. Thing, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fast. He punches him right through the head. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh. It's very quick. The devil does not care. No, except unless you're Arnold Schwarzenegger. 
Mm -hmm. I guess. Everyone else is easy. We also, not. I mean, are you going to get a better body to possess than that, right? But was that his plan, I guess? No, was no. That, yeah. I think he saw him and changed his plan. Yeah, like, what am I doing in this body? <laughs> yep. that one. Yeah. Um, so this, of course, leads to them all being, uh, this is when the satanic army appears out of nowhere and is mm -hmm. chasing them all across New York as uh, Times Square. This is a New Year's Eve, mm -hmm. and uh, the ball's going to come down in Times Square. Everybody's having fun, except for these guys. They're chasing uh, Schwarzenegger into a church. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Big cathedral, because this is where you're going to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm actually surprised it wasn't the original. Like, this was another cathedral, right? It yeah, it's a different church mm -hmm. altogether. Yeah. And I always wonder in these, I'm like, which church couldn't afford their rent this month and was hurting and they right. loaned Hollywood their church? But this is a set because yeah. they've yeah. got pyrotechnics. They going destroy on. it. Extra <laughs> statues, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, they do. Yeah, so okay, we, we've gotten to the climax of the movie then. What mm -hmm. happens? What is the big showdown and how does it resolve? Well, at this point, um, Gabriel Byrne has been hit by a train, mm -hmm. so he's no longer functioning. Mm -hmm. He's no longer a functioning vessel. And um, Satan has been released in his natural form. What's his natural form? A um, hollow man. <laughs> one of the Bodocs from Odd Thomas. And only people who've oh, seen wow. Odd Thomas yep. is going to know yeah. what I mean. Okay. All right. But it mm -hmm. looks like it's a like Stephen Sommer movie. Camouflage Predator. Yeah. Basically, but it's yeah. more of a yeah. winged devil. Mm -hmm. It's a right? winged thing, yeah. It's Don't mm -hmm. get too much of a good look at it because it's just... I kind of like it. I like it, it is yeah. a kind of a staple of the early the early two thousand nine. <laughs> yeah. yes, yeah. Just like it do usually doesn't mean good things, but right. I liked it in this movie. I like it because it gives a hint. We haven't actually seen what the creature is going to look like. I guess right. that's right. what they're hiding, right? right. It's yeah. like we're going to show you the shape of it, yeah, but we're going to hide it. And they do actually. I was surprised that the movie actually did show some restraint in, uh, you know, it was the shape. And then the shadows and the, mm -hmm. you know, the ground shaking mm -hmm. before this thing busts right. up through the bottom mm -hmm. of the church. Right. Not a lot of, um, usually when someone's playing the devil, you get certain points where they're like, it starts to come through like a little a, bit more. Almost of a transformation. Yeah, scene. but almost like, like uh, the eyes would glow or part of their face would change a little bit because yeah. it's like coming through or something. None of that with Gabriel Byrne in this yeah. movie. Mm -hmm. Which... Surprised. I'm fine with. Yeah, they yeah, didn't go okay with, with it. the usual with, like yeah. the black contacts or whatever. Right. Yeah. None of the kind of the usual stuff. I'm like, okay. I'm okay with I'm it. I'm surprised at the restraint of this 1999 right. movie in yeah. doing that, but right. well, <laughs> so I was thinking like you know for transformation, there was the scene where he had the threesome with uh Udo Kier's wife and daughter. Yes, mm -hmm. where it's like they're trying to pull off some kind of society kind of thing where like yes. they, they're mm -hmm. all blending together. And I was like, that's weird. Why are we doing this? Yeah. What does it mean? What? I don't get it. It's valid. They're trying to have a, <laughs> this is their fight club sex scene. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I got nothing for that scene. I, don't, I, don't but I also think this guy just wants to try, like, we could do this. Yeah, we could all be. We uh, could do hey, this. You we know could what? I'll take it. <laughs> sure, why not? You know, like, yeah. hey, it, it, why not put something weird and random yeah. and adult like I mean, this he's, new movie? Like, he's the devil. I I believe it. Yeah. Right, right. You know? Just make it freaky. It's like, like yeah. well, yeah, the devil would do something weird and gross like that. Sure. Yeah. 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 His human bodies just aren't good enough for him. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I can combine the mother and daughter. <laughs> um, for some reason i just i suddenly flash back that we also forgot that uh the nurse right who it's uh what's her name marjorie margulies uh oh, sure. yeah uh from romeo and juliet from romeo and juliet and, and harry potter harry potter yeah, yeah. uh fights arnold schwarzenegger yeah she yeah. does okay she, she, ass. Has, she, she has super strength shit. yeah she kicks the shit out of him right and yeah. his clon Huge swaths through walls and shit. She pushes a huge ass like counter up, but uses it to pin him up against the wall. Piano, 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 okay, yeah. that's yeah. piano okay. and Schwarzenegger yeah. into the wall. Yeah. She like throws him across the room. <laughs> yeah. If I stood and this just pushed on Schwarzenegger <laughs> and ran, yeah. like, I yeah. would not be able to go anywhere. She backhands him and he flies across the room into <laughs> yeah. a clock. Yeah. Like, yeah. That mm. was she a demon? No, that's I, what I'm saying. It's not never no. explained. I think it's at some point she was his favorite. 
is it, is it, or is it that's, like a like a mom sees their kid trapped under a car, so they yeah. get super strength in a dire situation? Sure, that's but, my sacrifice. Did yeah. she get claws at that? Because I remember her claw on the wall, and there was like yeah. marks. Claw yeah. marks. I'm like, okay, I don't get like what you know. Okay, but we never saw like. We just no, saw her as a nurse. It's never right. explained. She could have been something before that. Yeah, because there's a lot in this that I I feel like they're trying to hint at. Like maybe he has minions on Earth that aren't just human. Mm-hmm. Like with the albino homeless man that we see at one point in the film, and then he haunts her on the subway in her yeah. vision, whatever. Like they're alluding that he's maybe some sort of minion demon situation, mm-hmm. and I'm wondering if maybe she's like that too. They mm-hmm. never say it, but. I right. get the. That's the only explanation. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's very true. I do like the uh, that one scene where you're talking about the homeless guy who haunts. Yeah. Her. The first time we see him, like we we see him just hanging out, and then his like his ears perk up, and he, there's a realization as the limo with Gabriel Byrne is driving by. Like I like yeah. that element of the devil. Yeah. Like that certain people could feel him if he was coming by. Sure. I like that element of this movie, or when he. Um, when he's talking to the kid who's wearing the Satan rules shirt, and yeah, the kid's like "fuck like- off," and then the kid goes away and he goes, "Hey kid," mm-hmm. oh, yeah. and he, turns and he gets whispers hit by the and buzz. hits it. I, yeah. I love that. I love, I love that the scene. powers of the devil yeah. when it comes to like little things like that. Yeah, he just fuck with you a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's fun. I love that shit. <laughs> well, at the end of the movie, mm-hmm. mm, right? Yeah. There's Schwarzenegger in the church. Yeah, but there's there's sure. also so like one of the conflicts that has to be resolved is that mm-hmm. uh, uh, Robin Tunney has been dreaming about this guy all the time. She's been dreaming about him having sex with her for her entire her life. life. Yeah. She mm-hmm. tells Schwarzenegger, "I'm afraid that if I saw him, I'd want him to take me." Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. But that never really comes it into play. It doesn't matter. Okay. No. No. Um, no. Because basically then we get Arnold Schwarzenegger possessed, uh, trying to rape this woman, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is also, I guess, a career stretch where you're like, okay, now I got mm-hmm. my hero trying to attack her. But mm-hmm. God damn it, Arnold Schwarzenegger, man of steel. Is That's the right. hero. That's right. Mm-hmm. Fights off the devil okay. and is able to tell her to run. And what does he do to beat the devil? He sacrifices himself. Mm-hmm. How? He throws himself on a sword. I mean, if you're going to do it. It's like literally Angel awesome. Gabriel, yeah. pretty literal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Um, and and we did say that the devil actually does show up in one of probably, I guess, like uh, you know the uh, the most famous scenes from the, or shots from the movie, right? Right. Mm-hmm. It's a good shot. It's, it's a good a shot. Big giant bat winged fire creature, you know, mm-hmm. like yeah. in a church, you know, and sort of mm-hmm. dwarfed in the middle of the mm-hmm. frame. Yeah, and not completely computer. A lot of puppetry going on there. Was there? Yep. Oh, really? Yep. Mm. I'll cool. Take your word for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I believe that there was puppetry there. I didn't feel like I saw any in this, but mm-hmm. I'm sure it was. Well, originally sure it was when like, it was like mm-hmm. unfolding, it looked like maybe the arms, you know, the wings were puppetry, and then right. they had added some CG to it. But yeah, then when no, I they, saw the face, I was like, uh, it's a CG <laughs> thing. They mm-hmm. added to it because when they saw the final shot, they, uh, Peter Himes wanted it to be bigger, mm-hmm. so they made it bigger. But yeah, there was a lot of puppetry going on. Oh, all right then. Yeah, part, I appreciate part practical. Creature in there, giant devil. Yeah. Uh, interesting. I mean, he's a big uh, bat. Stand his thing a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but once uh, his time limit has expired, uh, Schwarzenegger kills himself there, depriving him of the vessel. Um, he just explodes in a big fireball. It- well, yeah, because at, this happens at the stroke of midnight. Yeah. So he has yes. missed his window. His celestial window is. Closed. Yeah, he was too busy moving pews and bouncing <laughs> Schwarzenegger yeah. off the wall. Which looked cool, though. Looked cool. Mm-hmm. Looked really cool. It was fine, but like he knows he's got a deadline. Like, right. <laughs> here's right. You know, one hour, once a millennia. Yeah. My yeah. Thing, like my thing is that like time doesn't really matter to him, so he's not good with it. That's what uh, maybe, I think. Maybe, possibly. Okay. Like right. he's. Like and it, he did kill all of his personal assistants. Right, exactly. So nobody's minding his book That's at like, this point. You know how many just like, times you have an appointment bo- Do you know how many times my minutes. boss yells at me because of her calendar? Like, he has no idea of time, <laughs> you know? So he needs to have a Renfield. That's a, he does. That's from yes. yes. Um, and not kill them. But I suppose yeah. the movie accentuates this fact by showing us, like, Times Square repeatedly in, like, 51 seconds. And in 51 seconds, we're like, this isn't going to happen. Right. Like, or we're, uh, like, 51 minutes into, like, 1151. We're just like, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we're not going to yeah. do this in nine minutes. I almost set a clock when they show that. I'm like, I'll bet they don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> almost set a clock. I should have. God damn it. 
uh, but you don't have to fear because even though Schwarzenegger dies, uh, you know, sacrifices himself, he is reunited with his. Yeah. Uh, he's- as Family. he's as he's dying, he sees a vision of his wife and child. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, I wish they'd gone up in flames and then crashed. <laughs> yeah. There was with, with laughter over it. Yeah, that wasn't the original ending. That oh, was the original him, ending. Him him um, dying like that. That was part of the original ending. Um, but the <laughs> well, I guess that was the original ending, and then they had they had him redo it, and had God resurrect Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Who played God? I don't think there was an Just actual a beam like of light or something. Yeah, it wasn't like an actual person. I bet it was Harvey Keitel. I hope so. Um, yeah, but yeah, mm-hmm. they uh, Schwarzenegger was resurrected by God. Um, of course, and everyone yeah. knew how trash that would have been. Yeah, stay so dead. They yeah, go with it. Just stay dead. He gets to win by basically staying mm-hmm. on Earth. Is he still a, a drunk? And not suicidal anymore. Ah. So I suppose that I don't think they got redeemed, Colin. I don't think they got that detailed into it, but I would assume he's saved at this point. But yeah, but yeah, everyone knew that that was garbage. I mean, if you save the world, I figure there should be some kind of yeah, you know, right? What special case? It's not not, not, (laughs) not how how Christianity works. God works, Colin. (laughs) Um, How is Robin Tunney getting out of this? That's she's a, yeah. she's in a burning uh, church with <laughs> the skewered Schwarzenegger. You like, just gotta leave, big, right? Big hole in the I middle so, of the church. Yeah. You yeah, just gotta be. You just gotta leave. Yeah. Yeah. Just be like, mm-hmm. I can't. Be but here. there's only one Christ in New York, Sean. They will find her. So she's the only one. So. Well, and then my question is like, where does she go from here? Yeah. Like, does she have money? Go- like, do, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, like well, she was raised by Satanists. Like, I right? Know. Yeah. Who knows if she gets that money? Mm-hmm. Are the Satanists still around? Well, they were all outside the church. Yeah, but yeah. it's past the time. I think they all just drop their stuff they're and like, walk away. Yeah, we we missed our window. Yeah, yeah, is that it? They just go back to normal life? Yeah. But they're like, it isn't like, fair. Can you imagine? Like, that? God can alter his plan and have, or no, the devil, yeah, because the devil had to jump bodies from his chosen form into mm-hmm. Schwarzenegger. It's mm-hmm. like, we should be able to force this to happen again. Like, I don't know. Like, think about you're one of those Satanists, and you're like part of this angry mob, and then you just have to go to work on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Right, like, you're just it. like, are we waiting for the next one? Like, mm-hmm. what? Uh, like, are we still meeting? Has anyone on- got a memo from head office? They're like, like I'd like we, to know. They're like, are we still meeting on Thursday? Yeah. And they're like, well, we've like, already got the nah. reservation at Chili's, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's just go. See, these are ideas for yeah. like, <laughs> other movies, right? It's like we tried to pre- we tried to have the apocalypse happen, and uh, yeah. Yeah. okay, this is uh, uh, take away TD. This is okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, I feel like yes. something he would write. <laughs> God, yes. The people who didn't. Like successfully do the end of the world for Satan. They're just yeah. like well, they we... meet at Chili's every week. Yeah, yeah. Oh there's, a, well, there's, a run, there's a movie. <laughs> there's a running parks and recreation bit like that where there's a local cult that every month yeah. reserves the same day on the calendar because they swear that's when yeah. the world's gonna they're end. Like, the same day every month. They're like they've... the world's gonna end. We need to reserve it. And they're yeah. like, well, it's already booked for that day. Oh, I was wrong. So it's I actually the next day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's a running joke. It's uh, it's pretty uh, funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I guess that brings us to the end of day. We've reached the end of days. We have reached mm-hmm. the end of days. How many times do they say end of days in this A movie? lot. Yeah, like many times. I'm surprised somebody didn't count. It's got to be more than that. What do I know? Yeah. I thought the uh, Axl Rose song was going to be called End of Days. I mean, but it's what not it it's, called? Oh, my God. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. A uh, yeah. song so bad that when it's in the actual movie, you can barely hear yeah. it, and they save it for the very end of the credits. Yeah, it's they not a good song. Bury that fucking it's not thing. Bad. Yeah, it's real bad. Because everybody remembers you could be mine, but you don't remember. Oh my god, do you? No. Nope. Everybody's out there going like, "What? There's a Guns and Roses song? Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Well, we're going to go around the table. We're going to tell you whether or not you should watch End of Days. But first of all, we're going to read some of your mail. And in order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman. And his name is Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. What would he look like if he was the devil? Can he can he possess people like the devil? Oh, he doesn't have the strength for that. No. Okay. okay. No. I don't want to know what he would do with a different body. <laughs> you know? Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah. What was the first thing the Igor would do? It'd be mm-hmm. funny if he got a shorter body. To, yeah. yeah, it would. It's like, God damn it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wakes up going. Oh. That was the tall body? God damn yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, put me back. We established this. Nobody sees Igor as Lurch. 
No. no. Nice no. Sean, no. Sean did originally. Now <laughs> he realizes he was wrong. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we want to let you know how you can participate. You're saying the mailbags are heavy. I thought it was (laughs) (laughs) right, but now he just (laughs) yep. They they weighed him down over all those years. Crazy Satan minion strength. We only see the top of his head. (laughs) Just (laughs) as he moves around, it's like ET just reaches up and grabs. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Leaves a little trail behind. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Then just leaves Reese's pieces and goes away. <laughs> Thank you, Igor. Well, hey, why don't you uh, out there give Igor something to do? Give us a reason to keep him around. Oh, wow. You make oh, it sound Jesus. like we're going to get rid of him. Wow. He's not living with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can follow along on Facebook. I have cats. He's allergic. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook.com slash Saturday Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. Uh, or email, you can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Um, MF Med, the keeper of the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame, also wants us to know that, yes, we have added Kevin Pollack to oh. the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame really? because uh, mm. he was in Willow. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Jesus, he's in, been in everything. Yeah. End of days. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh huh. And he was in Buffalo 66. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Buffalo 66. <laughs> I like him. Um, and here's the weirdest one. Okay, so this is the hallway of fame. Okay. Um, but the helicopter pilot in this <laughs> oh, oh, movie wow. uh, was played by Charles Tamburo, who also played the helicopter pli- in Terminator pilot 2? in Terminator 2. <laughs> he also played the helicopter, helicopter pilot <laughs> in The Long Kiss Goodnight. So. Oh. Welcome, Bravo. Charles. Yeah. I, you know what? Because of the consistency, I think he should go on the wall. You know, I that's got to be a sweet gig to get, right? Because you have a skill set that is very, like, specified in a small field. Yeah. And, yeah, you do one movie they liked you. They liked what you did. You were good to work with you. get called back. And you could say, yeah, dude, I was in all these fucking movies. Yeah. You're like, I think he's Schwarzenegger's helicopter guy. What do you do for a living? I'm a helicopter pilot in movies. What movie? Every. Every. Yeah. Movie. Yeah. Have you seen a helicopter in a movie? That was me. Yeah. Did you see Terminator? Two, T one thousand had the three arms. That was yeah. the third arm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. that's got to yeah. be the most memorable. Like he's yeah. got that one like yeah. all over yeah. his house. Yeah, yeah. I'm jealous of this guy's life. Um. All right. So about tonight's movie, End of Days. I had to read this one first. Action dude. Oh, oh action, action dude. dude. Wrote in. <laughs> And uh, just because you're an action dude. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's an you action gotta, dude. Sure. He says, I actually like this movie. It's certainly not the epitome of action, suspense, and horror, but for a popcorn flick, I found it entertaining. I just need to keep a deranged producer or playwright from turning End of Days into a Broadway musical. And we'll continue to move forward as a society. Okay. Yeah, that's that's fair. I'm not opposed to the musical. Only if Schwarzenegger's in it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> kind of fun. Yeah. It would be. Uh, Kryptonian can orphan. Be, can Gabriel Byrne sing? Can Schwarzenegger sing? I know. Well, I mean, that's not. That's I what, believe I Gabriel just, Byrne I'm can just, swing. I'm sing. Pic- oh, swing! Yeah. <laughs> I'm just picturing him give like a really good ballad, like yeah, you Schwarzenegger. Know. No, no, no. Oh, Gabriel Byrne. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I want to hear Schwarzenegger sing. I know, yeah. right? Like he never tested too. the edges of his talent. <laughs> right. Not, no, not like in he musical. has no Drakenstein. Uh, I know. <laughs> it's a shame. <laughs> um, Where's my Schwarzenegger rhinestone movie? I, was I need that. that. Yeah. He doesn't have a rhinestone. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. yeah, even Tom Cruise has been in a musical. Yes, he has. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's Jean Claude Van Damme, though, unfortunately. Wait. <laughs> no. Unless you count um, breaking. Breaking. <laughs> yeah. True. I count that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Kryptonian Orphan writes in and says, End of Days is a perfect movie for the Saturday Night Freak Show. It's an apocalyptic satanic horror. That's one of my favorite subgenres. This one always reminded me of a big budgeted The Prophecy. By the way, Freak Show, you really should review that one too. It's a classic. Hmm. It's I've been always wanted to watch it. I have never seen The Prophecy. I know, that Christopher Walken, right? Christopher Walken, right? Forever too. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, weren't there like three, four of those, something like that? There's mm-hmm. at least three. Because I always, those are the ones I always see in the video store. Like yeah. Christopher Walken, The Prophecy. Like, yeah, oh. that's another one of those uh, Miramax Dimension, they uh, made, they cranked them out yeah, for a while. But Christopher Walken's in the sequels. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jacob Laws says, Gabriel Byrne was great as Satan. Yes. Not as good as Al Pacino chewing the scenery, but he was pretty <laughs> menacing and one of the better Arnold Schwarzenegger villains. I agree. It was a good time. Mm-hmm. I think he's a good villain. All right. Uh, Travis Legler says, this movie's fun, but walks an interesting line of goofy, standard Arnold stereotypes, over-the-top action and acting, but also trying to be a dark, serious melodrama. Yes. Overall, not a bad way to have some fun, but there are better Arnold movies that will help you pass the time. I do hope you all enjoyed it. Well, thank You'll you find out. Yeah. You'll find out. 
Uh, Grant Paris says, I know I've seen this, but I really don't remember any details about it. Let me know if I need to get checked for dementia or if this is a forgettable movie. <laughs> Maybe you are part of a prophecy. Hmm. Yeah. About the end of days? They, I think uh, so. They wiped your mind, yeah. too. Yeah. Do you have any bios on any scrolls? Yeah. Yeah. You should check into Does that. Does your name spell out Grant in New York? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in Latin? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah is, your, is your middle name Chris or Christ or yeah. New York? <laughs> Either one, <laughs> any of those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was classic. Um, <laughs> last week, we watched a movie called Virtuosity, and Sean Roger wrote in to say, I can't believe someone actually remembered this to watch it. Right? Yeah. Apparently, I'm the only one. <laughs> Nobody else remembers. Yeah, I, so. yeah, I forgot that it was a real thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the week before that... <laughs> Have you seen Russell Crowe eat glass? It's like, John, you're crazy. <laughs> what? That is not a movie. <laughs> That's not a thing. <laughs> What's that syndrome called? Where you think that you like Shazam? Oh, Mandela effect. Mandela, Mandela effect, effect yeah. yeah. I'm glad you guys got that, because when he said Shazam, I was like, what? <laughs> Wait, you haven't heard Are that? you from oh. a parallel universe? Shaz okay, yeah. Shazam. Yeah. Not, but that's oh, the, not the but, new, not yeah, the okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. No, but that's what you, you that's all you said, I'm like, what? I, know, I understand now. Yeah, yeah we got it. Mandela effect, yeah. Um, the week before that, we watched a movie called Opera. Peter Gatt says you haven't covered Dario Argento's Inferno, which I think you should. Okay. Right. Will sure we Colin? Colin will get there. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. This man said he was not bringing any more. That's right. You said no take backs. <laughs> said no take probably back. the last one. I know there's a loophole in there. I didn't say we weren't watching more Jalos. This opens the door no. to like a flood of, of Jalos movies. <laughs> um, Michael Whitaker says I was, oh, because um, Urbano Barberini right. is in opera. What a great He's also name. also in uh, Outlaw of Gore. He's a very Italian. Yeah, this is Gore, G-O-R, right? And Michael Whitaker says, I was already a fan of Outlaw of Gore because of Mystery Science Theater 3000, but many years ago, while at a campground, I actually found a copy of the Outlaw book in the laundry room, and I was very shocked to find that that piece of crap came from a book. <laughs> <laughs> I love that the the visual tapestry you just wove with that story. Like I saw you at the campground laundry room finding this book that, you, like, weirdly matched up with the small part of your life that you never expected to see again. Like yeah. I love moments like that. Yeah. Uh, okay. And now a science report from our field. <laughs> <correspondent. laughs> uh, opera, if you've seen the movie and listen to us talk about it, it involves a lot of crows, right? There's a spectacular ending involving crows. Yeah, like there crows. is a murder of crows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Brett Williams says a murder of crows is appropriate because both ravens and crows are members of the genus Corvus. Although a group of ravens is known as an unkindness oh. or a conspiracy of ravens. That I knew right. Conspiracy. Love that. Well, he says, I had a graduate seminar where we read a research book called The Ravens in Winter, in which the author went on at length about how exceptionally intelligent ravens are, which included that they even fashioned and used tools in the wild. So a raven in a cage is probably plotting a jailbreak at all times. Love it. That was, that was good. Science report from correspondent. I love the names of groups of animals. Yeah. One, yeah, like an unkindness of ravens. I love, it. I love <laughs> how great. creative we get with it, right? Yeah, because yeah. after herd and group and flock, we yeah. were like, what else are we gonna do? Mm -hmm. A murder? I was like, I don't know. Those birds are like they commit murder. Yeah. Call them a murder of crows. Pugs are called a grumble. Yeah, a grumble of yeah. Pugs. pugs. Yeah, pugs. when that's the sound they make. That's the yeah. sound they make. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well. Our final comment about opera was from Aaron Dawn Murphy's mom. I'm not sure if that's Aaron, who's Dawn Murphy's mom. Or Aaron, or Aaron Dawn, Dawn, who is who's Murphy's, Murphy's mom, mom. Or Aaron Dawn Murphy's mom. mom. Yeah, I don't think it matters to us. Yeah, but the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but they said, great episode, you guys. So thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, mom. <laughs> thank you to you, your mother. <laughs> your whole Murphy. Family. I don't know. Everybody. <laughs> thank you. Anybody associated or related to you. We appreciate, appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go around the room and tell you what we thought of tonight's movie, End of Day. Colin! Starting with, oh. <laughs> Colin, you're going to go first tonight. What did you think of Arnold Schwarzenegger's Peter Hyams' 1999's End of Days? All right, it wasn't my Woo! first rodeo. <laughs> I had seen it in 1999, so mm -hmm. I was. this was a rewatch after many years, uh, and I was like, how much of this do I remember? I had the whole plot of it, basically, was was there. And several scenes, I guess, were there. I was like, yep, I remember this happens in this. Um, so watching it tonight, um, 
Well, I, I remember I didn't like it in, in 1999 when I watched it. And um, it was just, it was a bleak Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, which I guess, you know, that's why I was kind of like wanted to see it again to be like, okay, was it just me and, you know, the diet of stuff that you were exposed to? Is that going to color your impression at the time? But no, I, I honestly think this is a terrible movie. Uh, the writing was just like horribly bad. I mean, every character walks into a scene going, but I'm your grandmother and that's why I'm your stepmother. And that's yeah. why this, but we're cops and we can't do this, but I'm so-and-so they tell you who they are. Yes. Uh, when Gabriel Byrne is like, you know, uh, leaning over, um, Robin Tunney at the end, he's like, you're going, why don't you just, you know, accept me and you'll love it. No, you know, you don't have to fight that conflict. And all that. He's telling us stuff that she should be, we should be getting from right. her performance. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like the, the liner notes in the script. He's reading out loud. You're like, what the hell? The editing of this movie is really fucking annoying. It's like uh, Peter Hyams somehow saw a Michael Bay movie and mm. was like, okay, I'm going to put in that staccato. You're only going to look at it for one second. Then we're going to cut yeah. to another mm -hmm. uh, shot. It was very uh, disorienting yeah. and coupled with the super dark, uh, you know, um, again, brighter than the relic, uh, yes. but super dark cinematography. Um, it just, it wasn't any fun. I think, I think that was the biggest thing about it. It's like, it's trying, it's equating. There's no uh, even good one liners in this movie. They, no, there's no good ones. No, but good I ones. heard. You're telling me I got to believe in God to solve this case. It was a pretty a good choir one. boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they were trying. I was like, you I had think. a really. Good I know, one but, it, but it, no, it's not a good like. It's good because Schwarzenegger is yelling it. Mm -hmm. It's not a good, and it's memorable because it's ridiculous. Yeah. I guess that's yeah. You're like, oh, I remember. But it's that not like written well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Schwarzenegger's doing okay, but it really does kind of feel like he's been doing. He's almost like you know just showing up i mean that's selling it short he's doing a schwarzenegger thing but mm -hmm. it's like okay this isn't really um the cgi was bad um yeah i just overall it was just a grim joyless uh it wasn't exciting it wasn't uh scary they used a cat scare at one point, uh, the old fallback. That's, yep. you know, people use that oh, yeah. when they can't get anything else. Uh, you open up the refrigerator and the cat goes, Meow. but I liked Kevin Pollock's follow up to, I knew that was going to happen. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. At yeah. least he had some, uh, some witty stuff. Uh, yeah. I just, I can't in good conscience, uh, you know, tell you to watch it. So I guess uh, I'll say you can skip it. Uh, Michaela didn't see that coming, Sean. Michaela, what do you think? <laughs> I, I think it's it, the norm now. Nobody picks me <laughs> next. I think it definitely has got some problems. It's got some writing issues. I think it could be trimmed down a little bit. It's a little too long in certain parts. But it's an Arnold action movie, and it's like a crime thriller, satanic movie. And these are two great flavors I love put together like a satanic action peanut butter cup. So I'm, yes. I, you know, like satanic action peanut yeah, butter cup. Yeah, let me write that. It's, copyright it's that like, shit. I can't, I, I don't know how often I see a satanic action movie if yeah. I've ever seen yeah. another one. So uh, I got to recommend it because it's two great things I love coming together. It's, mm -hmm. I mean, and I love the 1999 time capsule of it all too. I love that it is a very specific moment in time of Y2K panic that like, yes. If you didn't live through it, I don't even know how you explain it. You know, like yeah. it was just a, you had to be there. And mm -hmm. um, so it's nice to revisit things like that that could only exist at this time. Mm -hmm. Love it for that. So I'm going to recommend it. Sean, what do you think? I share many of the same feelings you do, Colin. Um, I remember I saw this in theater when it came out. I don't know who I went with because I would have only Oh, been this like is my 13. first time seeing this ever. Oh, yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Um,. I remember, uh, I remember back then feeling it was a different Schwarzenegger movie, but I think I got enough entertainment out of it back then as a 13 year old. Now it feels like, I mean, I think the reason you like it is the reason I'm not going to recommend it because I don't think the mixture works. I think this was something else before Schwarzenegger came along and I think they juiced it up in certain parts to make it more of a Schwarzenegger movie. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably contractually obligated at this point for him. So there's certain things that just don't mix together well. Like it, like you said, it does want to be a serious, dark, like this is the end of the world and this is serious stuff, but it also just wants to, you know. Uh, blow shit up and have a really good sitcom scene right in the middle of it with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Gabriel Byrne, which I would watch that. 
that mm-hmm. I want to watch. So give me that end of days, mm-hmm. but not this one. There's just it's like you like you said, not exciting. Not excited about it. I pass. <laughs> <laughs> it's unfortunate. It is just kind of a glum. You sound disappointed. Yeah. I well, because I've been wanting to watch this again for yeah. a while. Because it's been always been on. I think I went and saw this with my brother. I think so. Yeah, and I've always wanted to watch it again. I haven't watched it in a long time, and yeah, disappointed. Very sad. Because it's Schwarzenegger fighting the devil. Mm-hmm. There should be something out of this that we can do. Mm-hmm. Um, Gabriel Byrne, I think, is doing. I think he's doing good work. Um, I like him as the devil. I love some of those little things um, with his powers and stuff like that. But uh, Kim Pollock does some good stuff. Yeah, little moments. But other than that, nah, pass. I don't. I don't think you're missing anything. I would rather go watch Eraser. I, in fact, I think I might. <laughs> oh man, because <laughs> that was that's more fun than this one. It's I got real guns. It's got rail. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. People could evaporate. It's, it's got like, James Khan. Like Eraser. So. <laughs> like it really does really? have us yeah, an extended, yeah. an extended zoo scene with yeah. alligators. Yeah, I like Eraser. I don't. What took you so long? Yeah. Traffic. Mm-hmm. Eraser's like, a good time. It is, <laughs> yeah. but uh, End of Days is not for me. I guess that's the final line on it for me. Um, so yeah, I don't. I don't think you need it. Uh, there's plenty of other Arnold Schwarzenegger mm-hmm. stuff. You can find something really good in there. So go watch those. Not End of Days. Holly, take us home. Um. So. I th- I think, like, I don't disagree with pretty much you all made good points. <laughs> like, I don't disagree. Um, this is a terrible movie. It's absolutely terrible. Um, but, Michaela, I agree with you. Like, the, the combination of what it is, mm-hmm. even though it's terrible, like, that's what's enjoyable is right. that it's terrible. Like, this is the movie where Schwarzenegger fights the devil. Like, mm-hmm. That's to me. That's enough. You should have um, thrown a few punches when that devil showed up, like right there at the end. I know. <laughs> just, oh. just go for just it. Just one good one. Just go for it. <laughs> but there's me. there's lots of explosions. There's there's a lot. Like it is too long. There's, uh, Michaela said there's a lot you can trim off, and I agree with that. But I still think there's enough there that it keeps me entertained. Like I still think it's, I still think it's a fun watch. Um, and I I'm with you that like this is a subsect that I like. You know I like any movie with like a religious background because I have a religious background, and that just fascinates me. Um, and it entertains me because I'm familiar <laughs> with that world. Um, so I do like the whole like satanic end of the world angle i think it's I, I i think it's interesting i'm i'm never gonna shut down that idea i think it's great um a few tidbits i did want to <laughs> i did want to talk about um directors that passed on this <laughs> guillermo del toro and sam raimi both passed on this oh, i want to see sam raimi's i know face. right yeah. i was like man i want to see sam del toro would have had some good monsters there would have right? been a lot of stop motion in sam raimi's it would have been like awesome when, like when i read that i just i was sitting at work and i was just like sitting there picturing both versions yeah. of that yeah. of this movie and i was Schwarzenegger like Schwarzenegger oh, wouldn't have been in either one of them. no, no he would, would not, not have been in that <laughs> no i would not at all um liam neeson's end of day right <laughs> as uh, we already talked about tom cruise was was the first pick um mm. but for christine uh their first pick was kate winslet and she was attached to it for a while mm. and then backed out. Jennifer Conley and Liv Tyler also. Huh. Um, but we got Rob and Tony. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God bless her. Um, any any guesses on the budget for this movie? $150 million. No, I don't know. It's probably no, like that. 65. <laughs> I'm going to say $45 million. <laughs> Hundred million. Hundred million. Wow. It's ex- it looks expensive. Jeez, yeah. That's nineteen ninety nine dollars yeah. too. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Opening weekend it made twenty point five. Yeah. Yikes. Total US sixty point sixty six point eight. Ooh. Yeah. Worldwide two hundred eleven. Like Ugh. not, yeah, not, not good. good. Not yeah, good. It was at the end yeah. of the bubble. Um but yeah, I, I think this movie's fun. Mm-hmm. I, I it's terrible. <laughs> I, I don't disagree with the reasons why you hate it. <laughs> I'm not going to disagree with them. Um, it's, it's terrible, but at the same time, it's that kind of terrible that I think is fun. I, I, I have a good time with it, so I'm going to recommend it. There All you right. go. Well, it's end of days. Oh, and we didn't talk about stigmata. Gabriel Byrne was in stigmata the same year. So he, was wow, he, really? he, pl- he played a priest in stigmata and the devil in this in the same year. Yeah. There wow. was like a yeah. religious horror thing going on. Yeah. Cause yeah. I was like, Oh yeah. 19, especially 1999. 1999. Probably a big yeah. year for it. Yeah. The and Omen was like they came in in 06, because right? yeah, mm-hmm. it's it was like six six oh six. Because if you turn if you turn nineteen ninety nine upside, upside down, down. Uh, six six six, yeah, obviously, yes. which is and that's we learned that we learned from Rod Seiger the true number of that's, the devil is nine nine nine. And yeah. I I couldn't bring stigmata, so I brought this. Yeah, there you go. 
All right. There we go. Uh, well, next week, uh, and thank you very much for listening. Yes. Uh, next week, we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by Michaela. What shall we watch next week? And are there, and is their family dead? <laughs> they might oh, be. yeah. Is there, yeah, there's the main character's Matt, family dead. for yeah. sure. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> back by popular demand. Summer of Canon is back. <gasps> no. I knew it. Uh, we are going to start with the Apple from 1980 next week. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. wow. <laughs> A musical <laughs> yep. directed by Menachem, Menachem Golan himself. himself. Yep. Wow. It, uh, imagine, <laughs> uh, yep. imagine if Canon wanted to make A Star is Born with a little bit of Zardoz. So this is like pure Canon shot to the heart.